Hey guys, Brian Schof here for BombasticEntertainment.com. Today, we're taking a look at the ultimate Michael Myers from Halloween 2 by NECA Toys. Now, he comes in this collector-friendly window box, pretty standard for their ultimate figures. Um, you've got some nice promo shots on the back. I like how they recreated the famous Bloody Tears scene from the end of the film there. Um, you flip it over. And inside, we've got the shape himself, Mr. Michael Myers. Nice box shot on the side there, and uh, yeah, you can see everything right there in the window. One cool thing, one thing I think is really cool, um, just give me a second to get this guy out of here. Uh, come on. All right. All right. Now, I do think it's really cool that the background inset of this box is the hospital hallway backdrop. I usually throw these out, but this is a pretty thoughtful inclusion, and it'll make a nice diorama backdrop. So I think I'll hang on to this one. All right, just give me a minute here to set this guy free. Okay, so the man himself comes pretty loaded for bear. You've got his various implements of destruction, uh, the claw hammer, uh, the scalpel, which was kind of his signature weapon in this film, uh, of course the bread knife. The syringe is molded in this nice clear plastic. Um, you get a couple different sets of hands so he can hold all the weapons depending on if you want him to be a righty or a southpaw. But you can really recreate his various looks in the film at pretty much any point thanks to the alternate heads. You've got the bloody tears from the climax as a variant to the default look. And here's a nice detail, the hole from when Laurie stabbed him with the knitting needle. And you've got the Ben Tramer mask, which is just a hilarious inclusion. So any look you want, you've got the tools to recreate pretty much any point in the film. Now the real cherry on top here is the pumpkin, because it's not only a classic looking Halloween pumpkin and a good diorama piece, but... It, it splits open to recreate the pumpkin from the opening credit sequence of the film. So detail-wise, that's just really above and beyond. Articulation-wise, he's pretty much the same as the 2018 Michael, um, and we'll circle back to the overlap between those figures in a minute. But you've got uh, ball-jointed shoulders, um, double-jointed elbows, the neck is on a peg, so you've got some good swivel there. No torso articulation, no swivel at the waist. Um, it, it, that's all kind of limited by the onesie. They could have hidden a joint in here at the chest like the 90s Turtles had, but it's not there, and that's fine. Michael wasn't really a ballerina, so we don't really need that for any kind of posability. The legs, um, that's a single joint at the knees. The, the foot isn't on a ball. It's, um, it's more of a hinge. I'm sure they had their reasons for doing that. But I really like the detail they put into this because the coveralls, a lot of people think they're blue. They're actually spruce green. And the blue color really came from Dean Cundy using a lot of blue gel and blue lighting in the scenes. Uh, he's got this nice wash over him. And you can see the bullet holes if you look close here on the back. You can see the exit wounds. So that, that's a pretty grisly detail. Um, I shot him six times! Uh, well, seven, if you want to get technical. <laughs> he must have missed one with that revolver. But anyway, you've got the six bullet holes, and uh, if you look close on the back, you can see the exit wounds. But overall, I like the look of the mask here. I think they did a nice job on the weathering, and because it's Halloween 2, it might not be popping on video, but you can see his eyes which you couldn't in the 1978 original, but was very much a signature of the second movie. And the weathering is accurate to that movie because not only do we have the knitting needle stab mark on the neck here, but the mask was kind of famously taken on and off and on and off and on and off. So you've got a lot of color wear around the neck. And since it was a William Shatner mask that had the eyebrows taken off and painted white, you can see the flesh tone shining through around the neck where the paint was wearing off. So just great attention to detail there, and I think they really knocked it out of the park. I don't think you could have asked for a better Michael Myers figure based off this particular incarnation. All right, so for comparison, I've got Roy Burns and 2018 Michael. 
Now, Mr. Burns and 2018 Michael have a lot of overlap. Basically, the only thing different about those figures is the head, uh, the onesie, and the shoes. And you would think that Halloween 2 Michael would be more or less in that same boat. But while some of the strong detail on the pants, like mainline creases, those are the same, um, the legs are different. So I don't know if they're doing something with a 3D scan to add or take away or introduce new texture and alter the base sculpture, put something out new that way. But Halloween 2 Michael is more of a new figure than I expected him to be. Honestly, all I expected him to change is the onesie and the head. Pretty much what they did with Roy Burns here. But he's drastically different. The pants are new. They really paid attention to the style of the shoes because each one of these guys has a different kind of shoe. So this easily could have been a repaint kind of situation, but it isn't. So you have to give NECA a lot of credit for that. The devil's in the details, and they always do their homework and do a good job as far as that stuff goes. Now, I do want to say I think it's really cool how well these two figures complement each other. A lot of people were complaining when they announced Halloween 2 Michael that they really wanted a 1978 Michael. I would argue Halloween 2 Michael makes for a better action figure, as evidenced by the multiple heads. But since you've got 2018 Michael, you could set up a 78 Michael by just taking the head and those hands and putting them on the body here to get a more 78 look. The color of the coveralls would be off slightly, but between the two figures, there's a lot of possibility for mixing and matching the look of what you think is more screen accurate. Even though it's the same figure, the same character, you do have a lot of freedom to go between here. So that's it. If you're a long-suffering Halloween fan, NECA is putting out the best treatment Michael has ever gotten. So if you're on the fence, hop off, because these are great figures to add to your collection. Now, if you like this review, please drop a like and subscribe. It would really help us out a lot. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out our home on the web at bombasticentertainment.com to see what we're up to. Thanks for watching.